our schools now are more segregated than they were a decade ago. And with COVID now, it's accelerated that even more. And we about to feel it. I grew up in Robinson County, you know, which is, you know, historically, to my knowledge, always been one of the poorest counties in North Carolina. Um, when I was eight, my mother moved us to Greensboro, to Guilford County, uh, you know, because I think she specifically knew that I would have a chance at a better education if I was in a bigger city, you know? And, you know, I, I thank her <laughs> for doing that, but, it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be, you know, if if you have the resources to move, you know, every child should have the same access, you know, no matter where you are. Uh, your, your location shouldn't determine the opportunities that you have. Coming from Robinson County, moving to Greensboro, and going to the middle school I went to, it looked like a college. It was, it was night and day. You know, it, it had nothing to do with the teachers. These inequalities have just grown even further. As a black kid, just as a black person, you learn very quickly as it applies to education, it applies to everything. You always learn that there's two sets of rules. There's the rules, and then there are the rules for you. Whenever I hear this is a great school, I always have to ask, all right, well, who did y'all poll on that? Because it could be a great school for you, for your kids. It, might not be a great school for my kids. I can remember in particular, you know, ninth grade. I'm in all these academically gifted classes, you know, majority white kids. There's a couple of black kids, you know, a couple of us in there. It was literally, I would see them in the morning, like my homies, I'd see them in the morning on the bus. And then by the time we got to school, I would not see them again until football practice. And, you know, when we talk about the segregation and the tracking, you can have two students in the same school, same teachers, same everything, and have two completely different experiences. I can remember probably the first time I ever was asked, you know, what's wrong? It was, it was a black teacher. They would ask like, yo, you, you know, you, you have been acing all the tests. Like, what's happening? What's, what's wrong? You was, you was my hundred man. Like, what's going on? <laughs> you know, when we talk about racism, all these things, I definitely think that we need more teachers who are sympathetic to what these kids are going to at home. It's always the poorer kids that get the short end of the stick. I mean, and that's, I mean, that's the story of our country. This country always does the right thing, but only after they try everything else first. And so now I think in this era of COVID, they have an opportunity to, where, you know, the legislators, the administrators, you know, all the, you know, the powers that be, you have no choice but to do the right thing. Click the link and learn how you can address inequalities in our schools and in your community.